Welcome back to another episode of Views from the Top. As always, I'm your host, Scott Sturgeon. I'm the founder and senior wealth advisor at Oriad Wealth Partners. We're a fee-only fiduciary financial planning and wealth management firm based here in Kansas City. On today's episode, I'm kind of going to go a little bit in left field here. And I, I kind of had this question. I, I've, you know, I've mentioned I'm, I've started this firm. I've, I've uh, you know, in, in social circles, I've, I've mentioned it offhand. People, you know, ask, what are you up to? What's going on? Uh, and I, you know, I mentioned I, I launched this firm. And the question that keeps coming up is, why did you do that? Why did you start your own firm? And so that's kind of the purpose of today's video. I kind of wanted to talk on where my head was at when I decided that I would kind of go off on my own, be fully independent, and kind of create an experience of, of kind of value and guidance for the clients I work with. So I've worked in, in wealth management and, and in the financial planning field for the better part of a decade. I, I started when I was actually in law school. I interned at a, a brokerage uh, a firm and it was a family owned business, really great experience. I learned a ton about the investment industry from someone who you know, admittedly knew somewhat, uh, not a ton prior to going into it. Uh, and, and, you know, I, I got my undergrad degree, I had a business minor, so certainly finance and accounting and basic principles and concepts like that weren't foreign to me. But I think it's very different seeing it out in the wild, so to speak, and getting a, you know, a better understanding of kind of how the actual implementation of investment management and, and kind of uh, wealth management looks in general. So after that, I, you know, I finished out my law school, uh, degree and I actually at the same time got an MBA in finance and really that was a large you know part of me thinking outside of practicing law what would be a great field for me personally it would be a good fit for uh, you know kind of my technical knowledge and things that I learned in school along the way uh, and then on top of that I think just kind of what were my where did my true interests lie and where did my strengths lie? And I, I think at the end of the day, there were two basic principles I arrived at that I really wanted in a career. The first was I wanted to be able to leverage my technical acumen from you know a law degree and kind of the, uh, the, the transactional pieces, the estate planning pieces, the tax pieces that come along with that. And also uh, in the second big one, obviously, you know the, the MBA and the investment piece, the kind of uh, understanding of financial modeling and how companies work, how businesses work. Um, and really, you know, all the strengths and weaknesses that kind of go into that process. How do I kind of utilize that piece? Uh, and then also the second piece is that just, I think all along I've really enjoyed working with people directly. I've, I've loved f forming relationships with people. And I think helping people at the end of the day is, is one of my passions. That's what I really enjoy doing. So I, you know, and it took a while looking at different areas and, and different businesses and industries of what was going to be a good fit for me. I, I caution, um, you know, especially for new grads out of college, I sometimes will speak to, it's like, just have every conversation with anyone who will meet with you, because uh, you just sometimes don't really know where you're going to end up. And I think for me, that was, a, that was kind of a lot of my path. And really, you know, after kind of a lot of these kinds of discussions, and obviously my internship, you know, I, I ended up working at a, a few different firms, really over the last several years, whether it was directly with clients, or kind of on the back office, if you will, of you know working to improve processes and make it a, a better experience for clients of different firms. And so really the, 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 the crux of all of that for me was eventually determining that what I really wanted to do was build out an experience for the clients I worked with that was very custom tailored to whatever their needs might be. And for me, essentially to be able to set the pace tempo and kind of the overall experience of what that looked like you know maybe something far above and beyond what they might typically expect for a, you know a wealth management um, you know interaction to look like and so really that's that's kind of been where my 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 head is at really I you know I've started it just on my own off by all by myself uh, so to speak thankfully I have some support um, through, through organizations I'm working through and I'm able to leverage a lot of awesome technology that, that really just makes myself much more efficient at the way that I can work with clients and, and better to uh, spend more time with them in, in working through the different issues and, and items that they deal with. So, you know, my practice is pretty all encompassing. I will typically meet with a client and work through kind of what are their high level objectives what are they expecting out of a relationship with, with a wealth advisor? You know, what are their kind of preconceived notions about working with a wealth advisor? 
and, and kind of explaining what it is that I do. And it really is kind of a combination of all of your investment piece, tax piece, insurance, estate planning, all of those items at a very core level, you know, budgeting and cash flow obviously being a chunk of, of kind of all of those. And from there, you know, going above and beyond and saying, okay, well, based on what you're looking to do and what you're trying to do, you know, what, what can we help with on all of those, those kind of more technical items to get you where you, you want to go? And sometimes it's, it's helping with the very obvious. Maybe it's opening an account and kind of getting things invested. Sometimes it's really prioritizing, you know, from an estate planning perspective, what do I want my estate plan to look like? What are some things I want to do while, you know, while I'm living to have an impact on my family or charities or, or philanthropies that I support, uh, you know, in a tax efficient manner. So a lot of it, it's all kind of interrelated. It's like a swirling ball, <laughs> if you will, of, um, of, of kind of principles and things like that. But really my objective in doing that is to make it as seamless and you know, ideally easy for clients as possible and really to just to make a better experience when it comes to all that sort of thing to where I'm not throwing out investment jargon or, or trying to make it all over your head. Um, really the idea is to make everything interrelated, make it as efficient as we, as we can uh, and, and really from there to, to make sure you know, that we're providing you peace of mind and the ability to live a fulfilled life. It's probably very cliche to say that. But at the end of the day, that, that really is what it kind of boils down to, I think, is providing a great experience and, and one that you know, ultimately allows you, um, the end client, to do the things that you want to do. So uh, that's my soapbox, my, my kind of five, maybe 10 minute, I don't know, uh, overview why I'm doing this, where my head's at. You know, as always, uh, if you have feedback, comments, any topics you think would be good for me to do uh, on Views from the Top, I'd be so happy to do those or, or kind of look through them or consider them or even answer questions you might have. You can direct, contact me directly through my website. That is www.oriadwealth.com. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. As always, again, I'm Scott Sturgeon, Founder Senior Wealth Advisor at Oriad Wealth Partners. We look forward to seeing you on our next episode.